Welcome to chapter six. In chapter six, we're gonna talk about the proton transfer reaction. That means that we're going to talk about acids and bases and how they react. If you look at the outline for this lecture, there's a lot that we're gonna cover. We're gonna cover Bronsted, Lowry, acids and bases first. So this video will focus on reviewing Bronsted, Lowry, acids and bases. Hopefully you've learned about acids and bases before. If you haven't, here's the recap. Based on the Bronsted-Lowry definition, a base accepts a proton. A proton is defined as an H+, and that means that a Bronsted-Lowry acid donates a proton or an H+. Let's look at an example. In this example, we can see hydroxide anion on the left, and hydroxide anion is going to accept a proton, you can see this proton in blue, from hydrochloric acid and becomes water. Hydrochloric acid donates a proton to hydroxide and becomes Cl-. That means based on the Bronsted-Lowry definition, hydroxide anion, which accepts a proton as a base, and hydrochloric acid, which donates a proton, is an acid. Here are some more examples. Let's look at this carboxylic acid on the left. The carboxylic acid on the left is losing a proton, and NH3 is accepting a proton. Based on our Bronsted-Lowry definition, NH3, or ammonia, is a base because it is accepting a proton from the carboxylic acid, which makes that an acid. In this bottom example, we again have a carboxylic acid, but in this case, the carboxylic acid is accepting a proton. Let's highlight that proton here. So the HCl is losing a proton, and it becomes that proton attached to the carboxylic acid. Whereas in the top example, the carboxylic acid had a proton that ammonium picked up. So it would be hiding in there in those four hydrogens. That means in our bottom example, the base becomes our carboxylic acid, and the acid is HCl. The carboxylic acid, or our base, is accepting a proton, and HCl is donating a proton. So some things can react as both acids or bases, depending on the strength of the base or the strength of the acid. That's what we saw here with the carboxylic acid. It can be an acid when the base present, when there's a stronger base present, and it can be a base when there's a stronger acid present. And a lot of things can do that. Water's another thing that can be an acid or a base depending on what's in the solution. That's the end of our review of Bronsted-Lowry acids and bases. Stop and give clicker question one a try and then move on to the next video.